So that you could cry about your sorrows. The treasures. There's so many treasures. You want to surrender. That's surrender. Be that subconscious known. A place that's nearly accommodable. Where the differences refrain me from the experiences. I just want to go far. Away from all these scars. To a place among the stars. Where we can be our own superstars. I had a dream that we leaving it up we were doing it all in this place yeah we can do it we can so through the skies and our goodbyes this time i just want to be somebody you can be proud of every day someone you can hold on to now cause i Hate the way I am Space is feeling lonely now Without you to share this piece of pie I just want you to hold on to me For one more second, babe Thanks for listening Sorry, well, that was just like some weird little practice I wanted to do, and also it's just like a really nice song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a lovely song. What an absolutely lovely song. Mm hmm. That was Pizza in the Cosmos by Akuma Mm hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's like any l full lyrics in like karaoke versions to her di to um all her music because I'd love to sing some. I was mentioning in my Discord the other day that I'd love to be able to do a singing stream sometime soon. Oh yeah, there's just an audio version of it. Oh wait, no. Never mind, I'm silly. Anyway, let's put the game on. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to the show. It is... 20 minutes to 9 where I am, so for me it is definitely a good evening. But, hey, that's okay, it doesn't matter. We're here to play Valhalla. Fun little bartending game, which we've been having a go at lately. I played it once before, and I love it. It's a lovely game. 
I should probably be making different save slots as well now that I think about it, but that's okay. I guess we're on this one, because this is the second one. Let's get our game display up. There we go. Wait. Now we go. Hmm. I forget what we were doing. Um, let's go. Ah, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about no sorry about not he being here earlier. What are you doing? I had a brief meeting with a BTC regional manager. Oh, everything all right? As all right as it can be, because we're going to be closing eventually. How will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filled and everything's being put in order. Oh. I was talking to him about you. About me. Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to so ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. <laughs> what about Gil? Well, he's the one that worries, that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who bought a levitation potion and threw himself off a building. Ah, yes. The levitation potion story. You use weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway. So it's, it's actually just like a euphemism for just like, like he jumped off a building and got after getting drunk. I find it hard to believe that Gil will find. I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Just who is Gil? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Eminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Excuse me, is this the VA11 Hall A bar? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god, what is say planning now? Excuse me? I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get that? Can you get me that? Sure. What's the record name who's changed? That would be a piano woman. Piano woman. See, it was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complained that there should be a piano woman if there was a piano man. <laughs> I was watching Calliope Mori from Hololive play this recently. Um, wait, is this already a big drink? It's slower, but it feels funny to, like, use the mouse, and, mouse and, instead of the shortcuts. <laughs> but yeah, like, she thought it was really funny. Like, it's, it's like, such a typical, like, modern-day thing to people for people to complain about. I, like, her reaction to it is very funny. All aged. Mixed. Wait, I, I just wanted to double-check. We are, I do have it set to Valhalla, right? stream. I don't want it set to something like Vagrant Story. So, okay, no, we're fine. We're good. Okay. We're good. Everything is all good in the hood. I have a piano woman. Oh, 20. Nice. There you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So, you know, say, miss. I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. I don't want to avoid... She's obviously like a rich girl. I know that. But, like, I'm trying to figure out what exactly to do with her. Yeah, I know her. She been, she's been here before, yes? Yep, in fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this here last time. Oh, God. So she left her helmet behind again. Not the first time, huh? Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians. What for morticians? Fire jugglers? She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Oh, quite a few people. Says as much of a sociable girl as she's a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious. She's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, did she recommend you this place, or... We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Nope. Say, is that Kira and Mickey's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? Well, she stopped here yesterday, just before the concert. Really? I, I mean, uh... She did? Yeah, nice girl. Can I see? 
signature. Yep, Miss Starlight's signature is hers. So her name is Jill, then? Yes. I ain't this not. Wait, I ain't. Maybe she's more of a southern draw. I ain't this nice. Here you go. I don't know if she. Do you like him, Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy. Maybe something more of a southern draw. Maybe you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. I heard she even opened with a new version of Shine Spar. I'm so vexed that I couldn't purchase the ticket for this one. New version? Yeah, yes, I heard from a, from a leak of the, from the event. Felt more, how to put it, hot blooded. Maybe not. Ah, oh, man. What to do for Stella's voice? Hmm. Because she's like an old Joe Sama, you know? Like a very rich girl. Yes, yeah, so I heard from the event. It felt more. How to put it? Hot blooded. What? Oh, God, I love every day's night. Bam, 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 da, 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 da. Oh, no, too early. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out. Let's see. She definitely took that dark act too far. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash! Oh, you're helping. Will it take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Is that what I would say? Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. Drink in honor of a good friend. I think it was Piano Man, because the you say earlier on, she's saying earlier on to Kim that it was made for it mixed all the ingredients of his best friend to, into one drink. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. On the rocks. Mix. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Thank you. Can I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not. Or at least I don't think so. I don't get my, I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of a fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nano machine rejection, so it had to be done. Otherwise, I would have died shortly after death. I'm just on the weak side because of it, though. I'm sorry, uh, sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just on the fad. Santosh. Well, hello. Good evening. Are you doing, bud? Come to take a seat. Take a drink, even. Take a bite to eat. Wait. Take a seat, take a bite to eat? Oh my god, that rhyme. God, I'm so smart. Welcome to Valhalla. God, I love this song. You familiar with the game? Yeah. Anyway, was it? Oh, it's nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks. I'm great, how are you? You know what? I'm sitting here, I'm playing Valhalla. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm doing pretty good. Actually, I do need a sip of water, actually. One second. Yeah. Apologies who hate the noise of this. Mm. <sighs> Refreshing. Isn't it lovely? Water. One of life's simple pleasures. Yay! We're playing Valhalla tonight. I played it once before, but uh, I just love the game, so I just wanted to try it. Your model's very cute. Thank you. I actually do have a new model coming, which is my own. This one is actually um, not my own body, unfortunately. Alas, I know. I am very adorable, but I need my own body, which I'll be having soon. Just waiting on some last updates and such. And then, I'm gonna be... Uh, very different, let's just say. Very different. <laughs> but don't worry. The dog shall still come back every now and then. I couldn't throw away the dog now. We're too close. Like peas in a pod. Like, uh... Um, of no. Some kind of weird possession thing. I'm trying to think of, like, some guy who's... A famous figure from fiction who was, like, possessed by, uh... Some kind of thing. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Am I going to be cute? Hmm. Well, I do have Twitter, and you can look on that what it's going to be like. It is not a dog, unfortunately, I know. I know, it's like horrifying, I know. We all want it to be a dog. But it's something I've been planning for a long time. Several months. It took a long time to get sorted out because of uh, scheduling issues and such. 
with the artist who I uh, hired. But yeah. By the way, okay, I gotta ask something, Santosh. I see that tentacle all the time, and like, what does it mean when people do tentacles on Twitch? Except for like, uh, being horny, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess I read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I, I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. But the colors, the stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their, di their designs. That sounds a bit silly when I say out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah, I started with my grandpa's collection. I've been slowly growing it. You bastard, Santosh! How dare you! <laughs> Wait! The squid has a head! I didn't even know that! <gasps> oh my goodness! My mind has just been expanded. Oh my goodness, I'm bigger than... I did not even know that the squid head was a thing. Oh my goodness. Golly gosh, gloriosity. Whoa. If it's not evident, I still don't use a lot of squid. Oh, hi, Buster. How you doing, bud? You know the squid? Do you two have a history together? I can imagine you be, you be into tentacles. I mean, what? I mean, I don't, I'm not blaming anyone of anything. <laughs> oh, Santosh, Buster. Buster, Santosh. How are you all doing tonight, though? Good to have you here. Buster's been a while. It has been a while indeed. Anyway, sorry, let's get on with the game. Yes, yeah, squid have many arms. Well, it's tentacle. They don't have arms. Like, God. Don't be such an idiot. It's a lot harder than my debts, but I managed to try a little. You like our hostel? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody, I don't tend to drink much. Let's see. Sorry, I'm late. Best fucking girl. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I need to think. Remember what I did for Say's voice? She was like, a, "Oh, hi, nice to meet you." Is this cute? They look like the Waddledees, so I will give them my seal of approval of cuteness. I have no official seal. The power of Orochi is in arms. Stop bringing this up. Stop bringing up your weird Orochi kink. Besides, Orochi was like a dragon or a snake or a serpent or some kind of combination of them all. But Santos, I do like them. They remind me of the Waddle Dee. So, I do approve greatly. Tell you what, I don't have a Switch. My brother does. I might use it to, like, play Kirby's... I was going to say Epic Yarn because that's my favorite Kirby game. Uh, the new one, what's it called? Forgotten Land? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kirby Automata. <laughs> you have to save the Waddledees instead of kill them for once, which is nice. <laughs> and instead, there's just a bunch of other cute things to kill, like those little dogs. <laughs> oh, wonderful. What a delightful game. Just adorable things swallowing each other. Lovely. You took a sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in rush hour traffic, too, and figured walking might be faster. Lucky there was a building with emergency stairs nearby, and I climbed down. Climbed down? I took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no. Flying cars are just very cool. Wait, wait very cool? I read that weird. <laughs> way cool. <laughs> I read WSV for a moment. I don't know why. <laughs> What a silly boy I am. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how to avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... You're at it again. You and your cryptic orders leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. They need to be able to answer things, answer these kind of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out of, with this kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever, please order something normal, would you? That will be too fringe weavers, then. You'll have, you'll have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. What, like, have a glass each? It, for each? Isn't it better if it's one for each? Don't worry, you'll see. I just remembered, I was... Look, um, a Vichy watch called Akuma Nimune. She recently was, um, went to uh, England 
and uh, London, I believe she was in. And she was talking about her first time at Weatherspoons. Santosh, I don't know if you're from the UK or not, but Weatherspoons, um, very popular like chain pub in the UK. And uh, they do a lot of very cheap drinks. So a lot of people really like it for that. You can get like a whole pit. A whole, is it a whole picture for like three pounds or something like that? It's ridiculously cheap. Don't oh, worry, you'll see. Two fringe weavers. So I believe fringe weavers are the ones which are like super alcoholic. Yeah. Okay, let's do two. And then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Buster, when's the last time you went to a, uh, a, a um, blah, uh, Weather spoons. That's one. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Like three weeks ago? Do you like get out or something? <laughs> Age. Mix. Fringe Weaver. Two fringe weavers. I'll be I'll be playing KOF 98. Dude, I got okay. I bought the KOF. Or I think I mentioned this to you. I bought the KOF Orochi Saga a little bit ago, and I've been. Pl I was playing um, 95 through 7. KOF 95 is very difficult and a little rough. It's not well balanced at all. I don't think, and it's very kind of awkward to play. But it's cool to see how the games improve as time goes on and get more and more playable. Yes, I know, you are a warp Orochi, I know this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's cool to see how the games got more playable. I've not gotten to a 98 yet, which I know a lot of you will say is one of the best King of Fighters, so... Hmm, hmm. I do want to get onto it, though, soon. So? This one's for you, and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Oh, I still don't know what to do for Stella's voice. I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. Oh, that way. You could have said so earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. Wow. It's an avocado. Thanks. <laughs> I had a friend from Saudi Arabia, and that was like her favorite video of all time. But now I've not spoken to her in years, so I lost contact with her. I don't, I don't even know if she's alive. I hope she's okay. I'd like to think she is. But yeah, yeah. You really need to be more careful with the things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be safe when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know? Yeah, sorry. Should I say that boss got her head stuck because of a jam button? Speaking of money, you you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep. You worried? Let's change the channel. Say he's the best girl, by the way. I hope no one say otherwise. I'll refrain for now. I'm gonna be lying where I said I wasn't. Don't be. It'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear-mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. <sighs> Everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher-ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? I'm quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself be, be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way, you can bet all your frustrations. Alright. Since my vehicle here is here to pick me up, you coming, say? No, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay, then. It's weird, right? Like, these conversations are, guess, meant to go on for quite a while, but it, time just kind of isn't a thing from a gameplay mechanic, so. Okay, then. Take care. Bye. She's such a worry wart. I mean, she cares about you. I've never doubted it. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Uh, bacon? Not that I mind. I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? It must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. <laughs> Wait, sorry, so what, why were you at Weatherspoons the other week? Or a couple weeks ago, even. I don't like Weatherspoons at all. I've mentioned this before. I don't like Weatherspoons. The... Considering I don't really drink, it's there's nothing in it for me. The food is terrible. Uh, it, 
I guess, like, the price is, like, the only good thing about it, but yeah. I see. You went to an ice cream farm? Oh, man, that sounds well nice. Do you do a lot of stuff about tension growing and that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? I'll tell you the truth, I am a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business. From what I understand, things like working with you and traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones who have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on, that Vatsukor's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Something about the Associates' fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. You went to what? Who'd you go with? And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Maybe they seem... restless. Too much politics, huh? It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? Well, my colonel needed to relay some information to the manager I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, You're such a simpleton that you never get the wrong message. But give her the wrong message, but it's his intentions that counts. Uh, uh, uh. Finally, the Dorothy has come to Valhalla! Please refrain from doing this sitcom like entrances, you're disturbing other clients. Oh, come on, you know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <clears throat> it's a common to see you here two days in a row. I want to grab something before starting on my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes! You should play Yeek. I will not play that again. Listen, I've looked at Yeek a lot, and I'm just kind of like, Yeek does not look that entertaining in the slightest. I know this game makes references about it, um, but I think it's all done in, like, jest. Because I don't know if- it, I, I think a lot of people don't like Yeek, right? Honey, you should follow her example and uh, offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both. One for each. Alright. Two blue fairies or two. Blue fairy. It referenced Yeek before it came out. Oh. Wait, when did Yeek come out? Because I know it was delayed for ages, right? Oh, okay. That's kind of funny in hindsight then as well. Because it's like... I wonder if that was a push from the publisher then or something like that. I don't know. Mayhaps. Blue fairy. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four. One. Ding, ding, Okay, nice. All aged. Mix. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Do, 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 do. Okay, aged. Mix. Yeah, I can imagine if it was like if they got with a publisher halfway through development or something, it was a push from them. But um <laughs> I imagine that like um I just no, I was gonna say yeah. I think it's honestly funnier that the game was kind of viewed really badly when it came out, or at least like mediocre, and like this game still references it because it's kind of like almost like mock there's no way that it's a, with the with the rever irreverence that they give the game there's no way that it co it couldn't be funny i think it's funnier that they give it that it's given such a nice treatment in this even though the game like flopped critically <laughs> it almost it's it's even funnier i think two fairies hey this is pretty good see and it's blue like your hair it is so what's your name sweetie let me say all right, say, I'm Dorothy. Say, say. Yes, yes. Say, say. Yes, yes. Say, say. 
Say, say. Oh, that always bit, makes me chuckle. It's just a silly joke. Say, why did you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes Fuckboy over there. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues and everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is one of that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your, your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. So if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute, that's the extent of it. I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh yeah, the little one with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looks like a humanoid. Ouch. Ouch, poor Deal. <laughs> you seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Your tongue is a B is a B E B O six nine with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with anti-radiation finish. Your joints are the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. What what what, what, what about them? I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes. The tongue and joints are the tongue, blah, blah, blah. the tongue joints and skin are really interesting. But your hands are the MIRD113 of Realta Industries. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. So... Clause G of Article 17, the Augmentation and the Modifications Law on the topic of bal Ballistic Augmentations. Any humanoid or saving creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. When, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Hmm? I'm not in law enforcement, I just do rescue. Leave for wars, I'm not on duty right now. Oh. I wanna know though. Am I go through with that upgrade? A girl's gotta take care of herself, you know? I wanna be able to deal with things if they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay then. Can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason why I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You can get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense, not regular use, of course. I... I see... Well, I gotta go. Oh, yes, another thing? If you aim for the arms or legs once, it's self-defense. Anything more is assault. Y yeah Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Joe. Bye-bye. Please come again. <laughs> we have fun. We have fun here. I thought she was gonna take me away. They would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years. Two if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue? Very prehensile, intuitive. Also it vibrates. Extra flexible joints. Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry, radiation coating? Hey! My skin's my first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes me feel so, so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Alright then. So, you're fun to yourself a diviner, reading people and all. Not really, I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on, my, on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lillian. What can you say about me then? Let's see... Hmm... You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. <laughs> it's not the act itself, but rather your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. That's your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on him. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. <laughs> oh, that was just rubbish I said because it's right 80% of the time. 
generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight than you. Lucky, lucky. Are you late or something? Oh, I am. But if you'd let me satisfy your frustrations, I could solve for some time. Go. Fine, fine. Bye, bye, honey. Artificial intelligence is coming rather far, eh? I wonder how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuck boy. <laughs> Everything done? Yeah. It was. This might sound random, but do you remember the first time I came to the bar? And you can't submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason I've been hung up on it since this morning. I just realized why. The visage that welcomed me back then was Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly. What kind of? I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my hand in and it got stuck. There's a friend's jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey Gil, how'd you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, that brings us to the random thought. That incident. The helmet yesterday. The many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping it. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh. Now that you mention it, I remember the one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Then there was the incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have labeled the Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the, Z with the 5Z one? Still, she knows onto something here. <clears throat> yes, she is. Now go from the dish and you can leave today. I like to think she'll make an effort to not avoid getting to, to now avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. We did it. We got a flawless service bonus as well. For the best bartenderlings in the world. <laughs> what? Why do we, why do I say bartenderlings? What a disgusting thing. God, kill me now, please. Wait, how much money did I get there? Jill's description got renewed to Shining Fingered. So, yeah, Jill is very sexually frustrated and horny. Like, it's not even- she has to, like, get them a subscription, eh? To Shining Fingered, okay, happy birth- Happy not birthday. That's weird. You really like a website, huh? I have needs. Okay, let's go to the shop. I have $3,456. Okay, what's the cheapest thing I can buy? It's $500, $550, $300. Wait, hang on, actually. Okay, no, it's fine, yeah. Shop. Wish I was Jill. Actually, her full name. Dude, you wanna know if something even cooler? Her, full her last name is Stingray. How cool is that? Jill Stingray, or actually her, her full name is Julianne Stingray, but she will kill you if you call her Julianne. <laughs> what a cool last name, right? Stingray? Isn't that cool? 2300, 1300, uh, 350, um, 450, 350, 300, 550, 900, 600, 900, 300. Beer on discount. Paper lantern. Joker cyclone. Okay. Let's get this one. Poster for some cute game about a pink haired witch flying on a broom. Let's get that. And let's get. This one's a scrap of paper with a download code for Meet the Staff Scribble. Okay, nice. Is this the cutesy game poster? Let's meet the staff. I don't get it, though. Is that going to be something I can look later on? Okay. Alice Rabbit Threat, Mickey Concert 4. Last thread, no shit posting loud. Did that, did that one I on left? Did... I think it's incorrect grammar as well. Did that one anon left? I think so. It's like very like very like 4chan reddit kind of stuff. I never left. I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry. We're here for you. I just the great relation. Do you know if you like her yet? 
Ugh, oh, so cringy. Spooky. Or oh, a nice joke. Stop for Alice Rabbit Throat 2, Electric Boogaloo. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. Just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? Lol, yeah, I remember the cybercrime unit of the admin. Oh, no. I remember the cybercrime unit of the admin's ass. Oh. Hmm. That phone. Oh, boy. It's happening! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> time for despair. Oh, shit, fuck. I feel when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people with IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, Cybercrime Unit. I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact, your mom. Why are you gals so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Admin for for Fuck off, Alice. Not the shit again. What even happened? Probably nothing. Scared a bit. Last time it was the leaks. I think Alice jumped the shark with, the, with that one because it seems hard to top. Maybe more leaks? Sounds unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There's nothing they can't do. What if Spooky, that Spooky message would be Alice with just an epic prank? He would hack a site like this just for a prank. N not me. You're right though. It, must be, it might be someone else. We'll have to wait and see again. What was the date again? December 17th? Man, I only need more about the target now. Sick meme, sis. These Alice looks piss me off. Fucking e <laughs> By the way, I just realized all these, it's like, I'm having it so that, like, the majority of people on it is, like, are women instead of men, which is very funny as well, when I think about it. Let's have a look what else is available. Hmm. Oh, I know, I've read that one. I'm just going to go to work. Hmm. I'm feeling kind of like, um... How do I put this? Low energy today. Like, uh, I, it's like pretty late anyway, but like, I was feeling kind of low energy today. And, uh, wasn't feeling like streaming until this much, much, until this late in the evening, so it's weird. Uh. Oh, wait, no, I did read all these, okay. Okay, then it's cool. Can I unlock music? I forget. Interesting. Oh yeah, augmented eye. That has updates. Primary up five percent. Um, I've seen this method officially make, making the road to makers a dangerous one. White Knight's weather situation promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. <laughs> uh, the poverty and lack of opportunities are no longer the main cause of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact that gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. Their entire sector is controlled by these dangerous gangs, and there's no solution in sight. This mega crisis will be a very dark one. It could be worse. God forbid things get under control here. Oh god, I hate this. Ugh. Hi there. You wouldn't believe this shocking Kira Mickey secret. They will take a look at the most popular acts of. How did you get started? What's her favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss exclusive. Okay, content blocks me. Reach it. It's a local page for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh man, I got you. I want to see if I can buy any more stuff because we don't need to like get any, save up any money yet. What's the cheapest next cheapest thing? 500, 550, 350, hmm, 450, 350, 250. I already got that. Hmm, bomb, bomb. Hmm. I kind of want to get something else. Um, Joker Cyclone. So that's 500. What was the, what was the, Crack Dharma is 450. Alex Figurine is 350. Uh, Sorcery Corch is. Nepos. Let's get the. Nice. We should still have plenty of money. That's the Alex figurine. Where are the cartridges? Is it them? Kidok. 
Let's go to work. Okay. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Seems you made it just in time. I think it's just a car back firing. Really? Sound more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? And we all at some point. Yeah, well. See? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? No, boss. Firecrackers? Yep, a couple of years ago there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with some the hip Excuse me. Pick up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, it's not too hollow for firecrackers. Well whatever, this is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying to chit chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourselves. <laughs> Alright, we shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Oi. Oi. Uh Okay. What's new? Uh new avatar. Boom boom boom. Oh god. No boom boom. Boom 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 boom. Tell you what, let's get rid of with renewed hope. Uh, your love is a drug. Let's put in digital drive. Uh, let's go with that. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Hello, I'm uh, hang on. Hello, I'm uh, looking for some information. What kind of information? Um, what can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Well, the tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have $80 here that might refresh her memory. Now that you mentioned it, I remember something. Really? Yeah, now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all. Squidward. <laughs> Man, you're a sucky bartender. Having not wait. Should I do should I hold my nose like this? I know. Man, you're a sucky bartender not having any info I need. <sighs> well, first of all, why is you I just happen to have have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, I and second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not even enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? Hey. Wait. Of course, you want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you'll give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, then give me a drink, but keep it under $80. I believe there's only one drink, which is $80, which is a gut punch. Let's just double check that. $80 for a gut punch there. I can't double it up either, unfortunately. Yeah. The gut punch. One, two, three, four, five. One, uh, okay, all aged. Next. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, then. Do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said... Maybe... Maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You're the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. Like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more? I'll give you some intel. Nope. No. Spend all the money you want, 
I know nothing, and no, I know nothing, and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why? The order's right there, isn't it? <sighs> I guess. So, why are you looking for that girl, Mr. Vondelay? Art Vondelay? I'm a private detective, and that's what I do. So, I'm assuming you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. She's half of these so-called Reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. Still sound more like teenagers' internet names. So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, that'd be a pretty wasteful prank. Let's see. Still, any information or rumors you can give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? Yeah, it's always got to keep up with local going on. Oh, let's see, uh... Oh, sorry, I can't think of anything right now. Most of the conversation you hear aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe, but not much about current events. At least not beyond what you see in the news. Damn it, what kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? What kind of film noir world do you think we live in? Gil might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. Uh, 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 I don't know when he, what you're talking about. You know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. You know, he knows something. Let's look at what maybe it's better not if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time, and here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be more useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough, don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have to find another drink. I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. Grizzly boy. Grizzly boy. All these bitter promo drinks. Disgusting. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one car machine. One. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All blended. Bum, 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 bum. Big boy. Man, this game makes me want to be a bartender, but I also know that this is not how British bars work. <laughs> the pub system does not allow for this kind of one-on-one -on -one talking. This is always way too rowdy. Also, I don't know any kind of like small local things like this in local bars or anything, you know? Yeah. Okay, then this is gonna be deducted from the $80 from earlier, right? No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard of is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. <laughs> and the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes her think it's totally made up. I saw from rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today. No, not really. Damn it. Wait, who told you that? It appeared in the news, didn't it? Yeah, but that ain't the Harbingers wasn't used. No glitch to the outlaws reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent, and even the international outlets aren't you, even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. So you're either one of them or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow, he can be surprisingly sharp. Uh, yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really? Wonderful notice the glass of the idol sign. <laughs> I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving it right now, but. Guess not. Did you talk about anything interesting? Uh, interviewing the idol that had a show a couple days ago? Dealing with messy interns? Well, for the course, I guess. I see, I see. That's. Gunshot! It's a backfire! Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? Sound like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It's definitely more like an explosion of some kind. Now you can clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. 
heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they start the conflict here. Which means... Gunshots! If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I gotta go. It seems coming here. What's no waste of time after all? Really? Really? I just have a different need. But they're all time a kind. They're all, they're all time a kind. There will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please come again. Gangs, then. Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. There always been a neutrally important third party in you know, other gangs' deals. The who want now? <sighs> just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. You have been thinking about the whole noise in the BTC boys thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it, though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Welcome. <laughs> I love this one. Wait, hang on. You can do something to, like, get lots of comments to appear on screen. Oh, yeah. It's got an achievement for doing it. I think it was a mistake. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hang on, what is it? I'm streaming, Chan, giving you live video feed of My Life Adventures 24-7. Bad in time and naughty moments only available to premium users. It's only $99.99 a month. Go premium now! Uh, it's Friday night, Neil. You all know what that means. It's time for Streaming Chad's Escapades. Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe, leaders of VR and Ultimate since 2069. Nice. Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code. Exchange the code for a free trial of VR experience modeled after yours truly. Excuse. Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny. Where is he, really? Right in front of you. Hey you, the pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? You're looking at him. No way. No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy scandalic like girl jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two dress like fucking waiters, the bartenders here? Yep. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday night <laughs> too much clothing. <laughs> Friday nights are peak viewing hours. Yeah, boy, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go wild, boy. I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh, well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah, just take your top off. <laughs> Not really streaming. <laughs> you might need to take off your bra, too. You might take off your bra, too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? Is that piercing glory? No? Come on. One of us is going to have to take their top off, and it ain't going to be me. I already did that once today. Ugh. And it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, it'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case by case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need binary yes, no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. That's you guys as well. <laughs> if they wanted to use their brains, even they watch something like this, I need to keep them entertained. The fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A big one. The nastiest one you can think of. Um, hello? Service here, please? Wow, it's like my brain shut down. Sure. Nasty drink, nasty drink. Manly and promo options are both nasty, but that's my opinion. Okay. Uh. Manly. Bitter, manly, strong. Bitter, manly, burning. 
Lesser Manly Burning. Spicy Manly Strong. Is there much is both Sour and Manly Sobering? Okay, promo. Yana Woman. Sweet promo, Happy. Um, hmm. Sour promo, Strong. Zen Star. Sour promo, Bland. Bloom Light. Spicy promo, Bland. Grizzly Temple, Bitter Promo, Bland. Uh, some bottled drinks. Oh, no. Uh, Manly Promo. I guess there's nothing which is both promo. Hmm. What has the most alcohol content? Carmatrine? No. Um, what, three, or four of each on the rocks and mixed, uh, Piano Man, three, Sweet Promo Happy, that won't be good, oh, Sour Promo and Strong, no, that, mm. oh dear, what should I go for? What to do? What to, oh, what to do? What to do? Um, crevice spike. Optional karma train. There we go. Crevice spike. Sour, manly, and sobering. Uh, spicy, manly, and strong. Two karma train. Suplex. Bitter, manly, and burning. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I just clicked on four. Gut punch. Bitter, manly, and... So I guess I'll go with a gut... No, that's cheap, though. What's the most expensive one? We need money. We need money. That's 80. That's 160. That's 160. That's 170. That's 140. 320? Jesus. 320? Are promo drinks just really expensive? 210. Bloom Light, 230. Hmm. Grizzly Temple. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for. Hmm. Bloom Light. Spicy promo and bland. Let's go with this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, all aged. Mixed. Oh, on the rocks and mixed. All age on the rocks mix. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. All right then. Cheers. I don't think you should chug it down so quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yep. Okay, I decided I'll just get really wasted. That's gonna be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me of this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts? You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Let's see then. Uh, last weekend, we held a party for the CFR Toy Company. And? It's company run completely by dogs. Really? This place is completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 wait. Corgis? Did you really sell drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad talking corgis, yeah. Wow, awesome. Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. What else, what else? Uh, let's see, uh, Donovan D. Dawes from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfumed chauvinistic bastard? 
Huh, there's a word again. Just the other day, someone of the Augmented High interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, uh, the usual bullshit. Who, was, who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small, meek girl with glasses. Oh, no, it's Kim. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait, can I see that glass over there? Hmm, sure. The signature. Is this Kira Miki's autograph? Yeah, she came here before her last concert. Get out, really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar for the stars or something? Not really, we're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I tried to get a meeting with her, and she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. Very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people, people I've met. I knew it. I knew she was nice. Her passion shows in her concerts, you know. She's so spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high-performance computer. Shine Spark! I find myself singing it in the shower all the time. And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at $9999 a month. Go premium now. But sorry, I was about to call bullshit when, on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? No. Pretty, please? No. Party pooper. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that would make it priority is a pretty boy over there had a pass with a KGB. Who told... Uh, yeah, that would be crazy, huh? You gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Give me a big one of those, please. A big bad... <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> big bad touch. One... Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All on the rocks. No, wait, no, I'm missing something, aren't I? One, two, three, four, there we go. Why is it green? A bad touch doesn't feel like it would be green. I mean, it's like poison. I was expecting something dirtier. We have olive brine, I can pour in a bit. <laughs> That's what you want. No, not that. With such a dirty name, it feels like the drink ought to come in a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. I want to skyrocket to the watchers at least threefold. Do you have anything like that? Nope. Uh, I have to make do with condensed milk when I get home. I wish she had condensed milk. I know like, she's talking about using it as like, a substitute for uh, male fluids. But uh, if you have condensed milk, it is very sweet. Like, I get why it's mainly used in cooking rather than having it by itself. It's super sweet to eat. Cool. Nice. For their mind, today's escapade is brought to you by ShinyFinger.moe. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 269. Buy a year premium membership for a neat code. Set code went into a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on what? I'll still have a VR experience. Well, if I made an NND model of me, when Shining Fingered asked me the model for our messy out a model for our partnership, I just contacted them. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year of free premium membership and a VR set. That's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. That's for a reason. It's well, it's music videos with 3D models. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. Let's see. To be honest though, the model's a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it, though, considering the use it gets. <clears throat> you know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. Yeah, it's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. But they're still there, you know? Sure, they're behind screens, and I'm in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. I'm not here, visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? <sighs> Something like an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. 
What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That my god, how does she know she just quit her job? She might have like been working here for a long time. That's that's what happens for her. Oh come on, no epiphany, quarter life prices, not even a hot teacher somewhere on the line? <clears throat> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone, and that's a and that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Tell me a bone here. There must be a nice mystical story you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. Oh, yes. Some time after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a DRK SOL, really dark soul. Nice. Dark Soul, really old Lily model. Apparently, his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. It was in the time when the collective swords wasn't, cloud, wasn't a cloud sword system, so he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know. He was the only Lily I've seen with a clear-cut fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else's problems, so he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell off when we were talking. Before he left, he said, if you remember me, maybe part of me will transcend. Um. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome. I'd pay to see a movie like that. So what happened to that finger? I made dependent on it. I carry it with me all the times, even while bathing. Almost all times. I don't think about it. How do you handle the stream? If you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over what I, whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. Let's see. Okay, this is gonna sell. I'm gonna heat this up, even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. I'm drunk in my wallets and... Okay, if I remember correctly, a fringe weaver is the most alcoholic drink. Yeah. One idle high. Nine comma train. Yeah. All aged. Next. Okay, a big flange reliever. Nice. So. Lightheadedness. Clumsy tongue. Palms sweaty. Knees weak. Arms spaghetti. Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with the loot stuff. First, I'll try to guess your bus size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. <laughs> hmm, I'd say B. 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 The B movie. Not big enough to fill a hand, but not small enough to make you look like a child. You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing my bust. Don't be like that. I can tell you, Rebecca. Your attitude makes me think you're an S, and your behavior makes me think your blood is A, B. So, how many did I get right? Who knows? Ah! Please, let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate. This thing is going to be a success. Can I say something? Finally. What's the point of getting drunk if you're going to behave the same way? <laughs> I guess it's kind of redundant. Because you see... I'm drunk 24-7. Huh? Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything? Seeing the viewer count steadily rise, I take more risk and become even more adventurous? It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex, if I get lucky tonight, you only need to pay $99.99 to see what happens afterwards. Go premium or go home. Um, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many men are actually turned on by that. I'll deal with people who don't want their identities revealed. Everything's written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby pre provide consent to the use of your face. 
on all material produced by Streaming Chan LLC. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny, though. When you're on the street, unless somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. But learn their name, and suddenly they're a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Huh, this is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk. Why is it weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week. A week? Weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? Um. Yep. Totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. This is weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Anyways, I think I'll take a little nap here before storming off and continuing the night. <laughs> it scares me. <sighs> Should I call a cab? Just waking her up? I'd never be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I need, I need a cigarette this badly. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, let's finish this day and then we'll, I think I'll call it. Again, I don't know, I'm just feeling kind of like t tired out today. It is now safe to keep playing. I like how all the characters have like last names as well, that's cool. Like Seiya Sagiri and like Dorothy Hayes. And I can't remember Stella's last name. Ah, uh, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Uh, reminiscence. Let's go to that. Mm. Wait. Digital drive. Calm between dreams, skyline, dusk. Oh, meet the staff as a song. Oh, that one. Oh no, what did I just get rid of? Yeah. Uh. Go. Hold on. Hmm. I do that with scan line. Oh man, it kind of hurts my eyes a bit with scan lines. So I'm not gonna lie. It feels weird as well. Like, un like, I don't like those kind of things, uh, which, uh, those kind of filters games have, which try to like make them look like uh artificially older. It's weird to me. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Hmm. Oh, Giving value of fresh anyway. I insist it's on like dynamite. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. I insist it's not like dynamite. No, it's too long to be a dynamite. It's not like it's a heavy duty tool. You're a heavy duty tool. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna go to the water. Wait up. A neon district. Oh, welcome back. From the prologue, it's Betty and what's the other guy's name? Blank or something like that? I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time I came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender, what does that noise just sound like to you? It just that sound to you. I say it sounds like. I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Oh, you too. Huh? Do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I say it's backfire. It's a gun. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! <sighs> See, those sounds have been going on all night. We can't figure out what they are. Well, we are here to discuss that. We're here to 
Um, who is he? Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know, you have more of a John face. Was he here last- well, where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made me- made amends for leading me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell. I'll have a beer, too. Two beers coming right up. Let's get them big bears, boys. We're gonna get them big bears. Big bears. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Old mix. Big bear. Then. One, two. One, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go, two big beers. A lot of money from that, nice. Thanks, but this might be too much. I'll take care of anything you don't drink, don't worry. Just tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill, that's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So, it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite a change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Mmm, -hmm. Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you, should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? Let them hear, I don't care. 6k people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24 7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So, 6,000 people are watching and hearing us? So, in the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera's against the table. I don't know how many are still in the channel, though. I see. So, there'll be a lot more witnesses to something said. Do any have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Ran to graffiti outside of my high school saying Miss Thompson's a cunt. Why did you do that? Because Miss Thompson was a cunt. <laughs> Wait, maybe she don't know the accent for I don't know. Like, she constantly humiliated. Wait, no, I can't do another. She constantly humiliated every whoever got whoever got questions wrong. I can't do it. I don't know what the voice is. Just doing all the voice. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week's suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So, I was stuff up at Doglandia. <laughs> we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That rings a bell. Is that a textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca? Oh. Yeah. That one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and, uh... So much saliva everywhere. Oh. M anyway, dog clothes. We hired a new employee and she showed the higher ups some designs. After a couple talks, they decided to get the clothing get, get the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? Something tell me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'm still handling this beer, so I'm fine. You're such a wuss. I'll have a Zen star, please. Sure. Maybe I shouldn't have given the... Oh, no. Will I lose my perfect bonus? Hmm. I mean, I guess they never specified anything about it. They're on the rocks. Mix. Send star. Thank you. Hmm. Something on your mind? The girl is designing the clothes. Laura, what about her? She's cute. She's taking more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cute. It has scored so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliche that I can't help but cringe when looking at her. Cringe? <laughs> it's like, when you see the thing, it's such a cheesy movie cliche. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. K kick? 
Betty, I didn't don't I didn't think I'd have to say this, but to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why do you think I kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine, guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential, and I'm not gonna let her waste it. Jill, I'm gonna check the antenna on the roof. Alright. Why is she constantly checking the antenna? Is it just because the kid's constantly cats harassing it? She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? No, but I'm just the veterinarian. The dogs are the ones that organize the meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight. And they glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. This is this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hearing. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based on just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have a hobby trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made it sound like, some, like I'm some sort of creep. That I did? What do you think about me? Nothing much, really. Most of it you were too polite. Not like a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. Ooh. Oh, damn, these just kicked in really loud there. That was it, really. Although, the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts is interesting. It seemed interesting what I said. Like, you'd like to see the scenario. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil, then? Hmm. Mm hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many fairy businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your, ta into your taste in drinks. Well, thank me later. Trust me. And two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. No. You shut up. Two strong manly drinks. Um... Manly. Got punch it. Some bitter manly strong. Bitter manly burning. Bitter manly burning. Spicy manly strong. Mars Bust is 170. Crevice spike. Sour manly sobering. Right, so. Mars Bust is manly and strong. So is. No, Suplex isn't. Pile driver is manly and burning. Gut punch, manly and strong. So this is like. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with this one just because it like costs more. Wait, can I double this? Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Fuck, I can't. Hmm. Unless I can, like, get two different drinks. Hmm. Hmm. So that's 170. You know what? If I do a gut punch, bitter, manly, and strong, that's on, that's like 160, which is only ten dollars less. Plus, I can put it on for karma trains. So uh, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight karma train in there. Hmm. Oh dear me, so many options to consider. Goodness heavens me. Uh, 
Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with two gut punches. By type, manly, gut punch. Aged and mixed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Da, 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 da. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All aged. Next. In serve. Here. Now, drink. <laughs> oh, man up, you'll get used to it. Hey, Jill, someone ever proposed to you as a prank? You know, it made you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank. Jill? First year of high school, the guy I had my eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What I find? It was an old prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry. The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather I saw it coming. I knew the guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it'll happen, I felt nothing. They just confirmed my suspicion that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap! Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Sorry, I just listening to the rain outside. It sounded really odd for a moment. Uh, um... It's also because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the, with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. The worst part is, knowing Vera, she probably put her cousin up to his practical joke. Well, that's just telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. If I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you told me, don't pay too much attention. Yeah, it's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. I see. What? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that if Gina is being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina, which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh uh, yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late, we should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. What did you just say to me? I didn't say anything to you, Buster Harvey. Why would I say anything to you? You've been silent, like a ninja. Or a ninja, as some people would say. Wait, that sounds really close to a word I'm... I probably shouldn't say. Ninja! Ninja! Just that cat's moving the entire... How you doing, Harvey? You've just been lurking this entire time. It's nice to see you return. I have a little chit chat. Oh yeah, Gil, some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late, whatever that means. Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? I think it was a kid that tells not register stories to get attention, everything will be easier. I said, I'd to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching the Digitry <laughs> Dude story. I love Dana. She's so fucking funny. Easily one of the coolest characters in the game. Can I just say, Buster? The like the writing in this game is just so so solid. It's so nice to see like multi-dimensional characters which aren't just all either like very unlikable or very likable. Like Jill is like not a perfect person. She does a, she fucks up a lot and like but like she's also really grounded in the way she speaks about everything and like everyone else is like that. It's really cool. You can't say anyone's a good or bad person in this. So everyone's kind of just existing, which is really nice to see. Hello, Jill. Oh, Stella, you're here for another drink today. Not really. I was just around the neighborhood and right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house and thought someone who Likes. Oh. oh, I got an achievement, it seems. Oh, it's probably because I got the uh, the drink. Well, someone who likes old liquor as much as you would have, you would appreciate it. 
Really? I, I, I don't know what to say. Thanks. That's nothing really. Breaking. This just in. The Apollo Trust Bank has been locked. Has lo has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people checked inside. Their security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank. Oh God, say! Oh, she'll be all right. Oh, hello, Jamie. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? News flash just ended. So I think it's just got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. So that about people being able to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Kill storm up just a minute ago, though. Hmm, I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Big Mars Blast for the big man. Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, can this be made big? It can't, can it? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Damn it, calm. Not enough, not enough gradient room. Oh well. All blended. Bah, 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 bah. It's actually kind of red to leave your face. This one of these is to leave your face red like the actual planet. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blast always seem poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. Yeah, we are. I can't believe him. So, hey, uh, who's this girl? She's got this little streaming channel. She's streaming her life 24/7. I'm guessing her equipment's still running. So you might want to watch what you say. Thanks to the advice. Change the subject a bit. Have you been hearing explosions and things throughout the day? I heard that a uh, supersonic drone was, under was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah, hey, boss. The explosions were caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. <laughs> We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic boom is not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise from breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not. Which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh. Man, if only Gil, Gil was here to hear that info. He thought there were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. But like I said, I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. You can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank is closed like that, but something is... Uh, off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Were you worried about something? A uh, girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Never mind. Do you want something else? It's kind of sad that, like, say or you thinks you're a friend, but Jill's just saying she's a client. Ugh. Jill, come on, man. That's what I'm saying, though. Three-dimensional. Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Hang on, wait. What was the drink I made in just then? It was a Mars Blast, right? What was the flavor of that? Spicy, manly, and strong. He always goes for the manly drinks, doesn't he? Beer. Bub bubbly, classic, and vintage. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it possible to get Jamie drunk at all? Oh, yeah. I didn't double up on that. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, mix. Beer. Here. I once read that beer played an important part in human humanity's history. Yes, it's really the theory. It's an interesting one. I am also familiar with this theory, actually. It's the same with, like, cooking as well, how it's kind of, like, invo being, like, a big part of human history in terms of, like, cultivating, uh, social gatherings and such. They just said that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped foster bond and build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. 
You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, no, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you uploaded yourself and effectively that knew someone else in cyberspace. You will still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a lot that's not there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. I guess to be the same as cloning, huh? How much of your cyberspace self found out about the real you somehow? Hell, imagine to imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing a mul multiple copies of you in different situations. Exposing one, exposing each one to different scenarios, see how they develop. I guess it kind of, it's heart, it's kind of heartbreaking in a way. Or just someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether, only to find that their physical bodies are still alive and here, instead of living in a place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain, it scanned the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. He used the words "burn the brain." Ouch. Oh, for nothing, because the data would be corrupted or broken. They hauled an old brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about living, living brains in jars or something after that. The subject interests you, huh? Yeah, that makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here. It was a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back. He's come again. Whew, hold on. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Quite restless. Thanks, little pass. I have a cool master to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camera module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camera? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. She's been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Use the Palmer House gifts? Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. Oh, what will the Namagawa module do? Change for your, kind of change for your partner. Got the basic plan: walls and one piece of cloth. So I put my katatsu to. You have a katatsu? Oh yeah, Dana's is such an absolute weeb. She's a huge fucking weeb and just loves anime and 2D shit. <laughs> like me. Anyway, I'm more impressed. You know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a katatsu, not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and heater might not be enough. Well, the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should advise the time. I want to see you decorate the place with that. Let's play a day to grab a beer, yeah. No more dancing. I'm tired. What do you do with her? I'll take care of everything, don't worry. Alright, sorry for leaving it like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Okay, I fly there. Flawless Sari. Oh, I did get the brownness. Nice, 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 nice. I thought I might have messed it up a bit because of what, um... Um... Oh my god, I always forget his name. Plant? No. The... 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 The Lilim dude. Oh, I can't... Blank. Pl blank. Ugh, oh, whatever his name was. Gotta get a nice wall pattern, so I think for 400. Will do, boss. Jill wants to buy a fan, even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now use nano camera. Nice. What's a nano camera? Just liven things up in this room. Okay. Uh, a fan. Joker Cyclone. Put the, the noisy name. It's just a fan. Fans are good though. Really good. Okay, got that. Nice. What else is available? PC 9X. It's vintage gaming. Turns all the cumbersome load times. That Hmm. Okie doke. Nano camera lamp. Mascot. Ca What's an. Oh, yeah, she's just gonna say it's gonna. Kamatan is our mascot. She's designed by veteran character designer for Sukaban, Kirin51. Likes Musashi Battleship, Tactical Fashion, Peach Cake. This dystopian future where everything's wifey bait. Company found 2068 and a pioneer of the nano nano machine fabric capable of real-time texture swap. Meant for military use, we bring our products to the general public at most affordable prices. Nice. Customize. Um man. Oh. Ten thousand? Holy shit. 
If you do a new game plus, does your money carry over? Nice. Okay, let's go shopping. Let's just get stuff in the shop. Uh, correct diary mode. Japanese souvenir it still has seen better days. It still has a vintage charm to it. PC9X. Let's get that. Um, what else can I buy? It's 2,350. Uh, 1,300. Harvest Mint. Hello. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. How you doing, my friend? Are you having a good evening? Tell you what. Harvest Mint, what do you think I should buy? Do you think I should buy the correct Daruma or the Manaki Neko? Oh, dear. What to choose? Because the thing is, I don't need to buy anything right now. I don't, I'm not short on rent or anything. Hmm. I guess the Daruma is cheaper. I kind of just want to get everything. That's the thing, right? Oh, dear. Oh, the choices. You know what? Let's go for the Daruma. Let's go for it. I do have a Dharma myself. I have a purple Dharma doll, which I've never used. I'm kind of like saving it for a special occasion, you know? Hope you're doing well. Thank you. It's so nice of you. Oh my god, your name in my chat has popped up as, gr as like mint green. And you're Harvest Mint. That's so cute. Wait, is that like a Harvest Moon joke as well? Oh my god. I just remember my first time playing Harvest Moon. And like... My first time playing Harvest Moon, I had no idea what was going on in it. So, like, I accidentally threw away all my seeds in the first five minutes of the game. And I'm like, wait, I, what do I do? <laughs> I couldn't do anything. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll just stop. Later on, the Big Neil Young, <laughs> Big Neil Young fan. <laughs> oh yeah, Neil Young. Yeah, I don't. When was the last time I listened to Neil Young? No, this was Harvest Moon DS. Buster, I've told you this story before, I believe. Yeah, like, uh, my first time playing Harvest Moon, I just threw away all the stuff. Harvest Moon is really close to my heart. And no, yeah, uh, my first time playing it, I was like, I kind of like, I don't, th from my recollection, the tutorials they gave you in Harvest Moon DS were not the best. And I ended up, like, throwing the seeds they gave you in the very beginning of the game away, so I had no way of making money at the very beginning of it. I'm like, I guess I'm screwed. So I stopped playing it really quickly. I did like have a go at um, Rune Factory, Horace Moon Rune Factory, and that came out. And uh, I'd love to pick up one of the newer Rune Factories as well, because uh, I did play quite a bit of Rune Factory. I didn't get super far in it, because, you know, a lot of these kind of farming games, it's kind of hard to tell if you're getting far or not. And But I did enjoy Rune Factory quite a bit. Wonderful life, because it does kind of just throw you into it. Oh, yeah, Horror's Moon Wonderful Life. Yeah, yeah. I Thing is, like, it was my... F Whilst I understand the appeal, it can be horribly vague. Yeah. So, I understand the appeal, right, of, like, wanting to, like, just be thrown into it. However, from my first experience, I'd never played a farming game before. Um, You'll recommend 4 Special. Yeah, yeah. I hear a lot of people recommend that over um, Rune Factory 5, because I know it was kind of... A buggy at least at launch i played it what was the there was a playstation 3 rune factory game as well was it uh tides or something like that someone where you're on an island and i played a little bit of that because uh <laughs> it's a funny story it was one of those things where my brother was out uh and i'm like you know what i want to try out something new i'll take this game and i'll try it out for a bit and i'm like oh shit he's back i'll just i'll have to put it back and make sure he never finds out i played it because he was one of those kind of people and uh yeah I never played it after that initial like hour or two I got whilst he was out, but I remember thinking it was really dumb because it's like, wait, so I'm like, you're like playing as a guy or a girl and depending on who you play as the opposite gender character gets trapped inside your body. And it's like, okay, so you're kind of like a split personality. But when you, ex as you go around the island at the beginning of the game, you meet some, meet all the people and they have cool little animated cutscenes for all of them. It's nice. But as you go around and meet people, um, you explain this to them. Everyone's like, oh, okay, that's kind of, okay. And I'm like, why is this like a, just like a whatever mo thing for you guys? You, this, I have like got a split personality, but like in a completely supernatural way, like two souls have been trapped in the same body and you guys are just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, you know. 
know, that's, it happens. Like, no, it does not happen. It does not happen. This does not. <laughs> it was odd. Um, but no, I want to give Rune Factory a crack. Yeah. No, they're always too chill about it. <laughs> the narrative that you inherit. Well, the thing is, like, that kind of inheriting a farm thing is, like, a super solid basis for any kind of farming game. It's why, like, I play I've played qu quite a bit of Stardew Valley. Like, Stardew is weird for me, though. Every time I play Stardew, I'll play it for, like, a lot, then stop playing it, and then, like, oh, man, I forgot where I was. I'll just restart <laughs> and then do the same thing. I've done that, like, three times now. And I think a lot of it is due to, like, just, um, uh, just, I guess, like, not ha really struggling to set goals for myself. But, yeah. The, the, the idea of, like, in, you're inheriting something works well for it. But I guess it works well for any kind of, like, simulation kind of game. You know, I guess if you had, like, I don't know, a car simulator where you're, like, run a, a, a garage simulator, you could do that. You can play this computer, right? Oh, wait, hang on. No. Can you do anything else? There's the Daruma there. Okay, so I didn't realize you could do this. I could. I saw. I found out this recently. Okay, it's lovely punishment. Justice will be there. Ridge racer type. <laughs> Press enter button. X to show. Oh, I had to use the keyboard. Okay. Yeah, let me, that did not sound good. But it's okay. Well, don't don't worry about that. We'll be fine. Oh, I think my mic's a bit too close now. Okay. Um, X to shoot. Arrow keys to move. Enter. This is like a like a Toho kind of game, or like a just like a bullet hell kind of game, right? I've never played Toho. There was a flash game I remember playing ages ago, years ago on Mini Clip, which was like a samurai kind of like game, which was like this, where it was like side scrolling. It's like side scrolling bullet hell, and I can't remember what it was called now, and I'm really sad about it because I'd love to be able to like find it again if it's been archived. Oh, wait, oh, Ooh. I have to jump up, which I'm out of catching the. Yeah, no worries, man. Your voice is... Oh, thank you. God. Min, just gassing me up to... Oh, my... Oh, Lord. Ah, sweetheart. <laughs> have a good night, man. Oh, no. Have a good night, man, though. Hope you have a lovely rest of your evening or day. I don't know where you are, but I hope, I hope it's good for you, wherever you are. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, no. I dare. Okay. I love that on, like, Twitch, some of the emotes are just different colored hearts, by the way. <laughs> so, like, if you don't have, like, um, any kind of, like, special, like, tw uh, affiliate emote, no, no, sub emotes or whatever, to, like, give someone in chat, which can, I think, can leave you feeling a bit left out at times, you can always just put a heart which matches someone's color scheme, I guess, whether it's, like, a color scheme of, like, their overlay or if they're a VTuber, a uh, color scheme of their character, maybe. It's cool. Wait, do I have to kill all these or can I just dodge them? I just realized. Am I allowed to do that? I didn't even realize this was a thing, by the way, when I initially played the game. Oh! That was a weird noise. You want to try again? Yes. Let's try again. God, this reminds me of when I played Final Fantasy XV for the first time. And, like, I spent, like, an hour playing the weird pinball game they have in that, which re requires no skill, but it's just really addicting to play. Like, battle monsters or something like that. And I spent, like, an hour playing that, just... And, like, time passes in-game, and I didn't even notice. So, like, I went on the game in the afternoon, um, in game time, and when I left, it was the evening, and the sun was going down. I'm like, oh, I just been in this, like, this diner this entire time playing this this freaking pinball game for like several dozen hours. I mean, like several. Oh, I got hit. No, oh, man. Well, not several dozen, but you know. There is a guy. That game is so quotable, by the way. I don't care anyone says. Final Fantasy 15 is fun. And like, it's just so quotable. Like, we're in the money. We're in the money. Oh. And of course, like, Ignis is famous. Uh, I, that's it. I come up with a new recipe. What? One of my favorite things actually to come from that. I found this out ages ago. Because after looking at... Hey, I wonder if there's a Final Fantasy 15 cookbook. There is an entirely fan-made uh, FF15 community cookbook. Oh, no. 
which ha is basically a bunch of people come together online. Chocobo, I know. <laughs> Chocobo Sam. Chocobo Sam is a character in that game who like hosts all the Chocobos. Or is that from FF7? I can't remember. But yeah, um, um, yeah. One of my favorite things is there's an FF7 community, FF15 community cookbook, which is basically fans of the game coming together and making this entire cookbook and recreating every single dish in the game and it's really really cool and like it's a fan-made product project but like you there's a, it's a free pdf or if you want they even have like a, a site where you can buy like a printed version of it it's really cool i think i might have mentioned this before as well i also have like the uh, final fantasy 14 cookbook which is super cool it, oh man it has like a bunch of the uh the dishes you can get in the game and like some of them are super good like i've made I've not been able to make all of them because some of them are like hyper specific like it's cuisine from around the world basically and as a result inevitably a lot of stuff won't be available to to everyone like, there's a lot of japanese dishes which i just can't make because i just don't have the necessary stuff to do it where where i live i need to find like a specialty food store perhaps or i know how to order food online for it like there's odin which is like a japanese dish it's like a a mixture, at least like a mixed fish dish and um, fish and rice, I believe. No, the fish and noodles even. But I, I don't like. I can't make that. Cause I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't get any of the materials I need for it. Any materials? God, I sound like I'm crafting in a game. Uh, I can't get any of the ingredients I need. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. We're still gonna go. But yeah. Uh, there's a lot of really good st cool stuff in it, like the, um, the like, probably one of the biggest like showstoppers for it. Oh, actually no, before that, I just remembered something. It's really cool as well. So it like it ranks all the um, in all the recipes by difficulty, right? So like easy to medium to hard. But there's one which is classified as like legendary difficult, no extreme difficulty. That's it, yeah. And it's like a reference to like how like the you have extreme difficulty raids in 14 which are like um super high difficulty boss fights yeah it's boss fights have been pumped up to the highest possible difficulty they're so dumb i hate i hate them a lot of people really love doing like the extreme raids i don't i just think they're kind of unfair and it's one of those things where you you basically just need to look up a guide to do it you can't just try it out and i think it's really annoying as a result of that when i just want to play the game and have fun but you know if people want to do them they're fine oh god why are there so many already But, um, yeah, um, there's an extreme, extreme trials one for the recipes, which I think is like a, it's some kind of pastry dish. I can't remember what it is now, but, uh, it's like, it takes ages to make apparently. And like I was reading through it and it's like, it's the only recipe in the entire book, which takes like four pages or something. It might be for like making fre some kind of fresh, like French pastry, like a fresh croissant or something like that. It takes a long time to do the. Okay. I got through. Nice. Still here. No, damn it. I wonder if there's any difference between the red and the blue ones. Is there a boss level, by the way, to this? But yeah. Um, there's like a bunch of cool recipes in it. A bunch of like. Sh the, the probably one of the biggest showstoppers is the Starlight Dodo. Which is this absolutely lovely dish. Uh, obviously, in the, in, so in the game, it uses the dodo. As, and, and, and Not like the extinct dodo here, but like a monster dodo. Which obviously don't exist. So instead, it uses roast duck as like the basis for it. You have to get a whole duck. And it's a whole duck cooked in this like super nice like glaze of like um, honey and soy sauce. And I believe... Oh, man. It's like a honey soy sauce glaze, and it. Oh no, it's, it's not honey. It's molasses. Yeah, it's. Uh, I we don't really have molasses over here in the UK, so I had to use. I used treacle, which is basically our equivalent of it, and oh my goodness, it is very nice. It's not like if you're expecting a roast with like a crispy skin, it's not that because it's. It you need to have this glaze on it, which kind of is going to make it moist and not and like lessen its potential to be super crispy. But it is so flavorful. It is extremely delicious if you get the chance to make it. 
Well, obviously, like, whole ducks are like expensive, so it's like a, uh, it's an event if you're gonna try it out. But like, oh my goodness, if you get that cookbook, uh, or you're able to find a recipe with a similar style online, give it a go. It's fantastic. I also found a, oh, another recipe I really like from it. It's called a, uh, it's a, it's a Japanese dish called pork kakuni, um, which is super good. It's like a pork. Oh, I got hit. Oh man. It's like pork, which is like slow cooked in like a, a big uh, stock pot for like two hours or something like that. Um, oh God. Oh, damn. It's like pork. Yeah, slow roasted pork, slow cooked pork belly uh, in like a, oh, man, in like a super rich stock. And it's, oh my goodness, it's so nice. Like the pork just melts in your mouth. And, like, pork belly is already quite a naturally fatty cut. So, like, you normally don't... You, you, you normally don't, like... Oh, no. I don't think it's a favorable cut a lot of the time just because it's so, like, fatty. At least over here. I know in, like... <clears throat> I know in Asian cuisine, like, pork belly is quite, like, uh... Quite, like, common to eat, I guess. Or, like, quite popular to use. I guess it's because it's the cheapest cut of meat. Um... But my goodness, oh my god, it it does wonders with it. It just, damn it, it does it just does wonders for it. No, yeah, it is cool. It's so cool. It's del oh, my. it's delicious. Hang on, maybe I can look up a recipe for it. One second, Aru. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to find this. FF14 pork kakuni kakuni. Or I could just read from my recipe book, maybe. Oh, yeah. Here, here. Okay. Hang on. Uh... Oh, hang on. Maybe I just type in pork kakuni, actually, instead of FF14. Yeah, it's, it's like slow braised pork belly. Uh... It's like it's got soy, you know. It's got a lot of like very traditional Japanese flavors in it, you know, soy sauce, some like alcohol. It generally recommends sake. I didn't have sake, so I used like a Chinese rice wine called um, Shaoxing. Uh, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. If not, well, oh well. But yeah. Um. Um. And uh, use like soy sauce. Oh my. Oh. And like a, a stock, it generally says to use dashi stock, which is very, very Japanese. It's like a, like a super flavorful fish stock, um, which also isn't super available for uh, a lot of, a lot of supermarkets around here. A lot of just normal food markets you need to go to like a specialty Asian store for it. So um, you can, if you don't have a dashi stock, you can instead just use like a normal chicken or fish stock, and it will work still wonders. It's delicious. Hang on. Oh, no. I made something else recently as well from it, which is like a... It, it's called tuna mikabob, and, like, mikabobs are, like, the FF14 version of kebabs. Um, um, and it, you meant to have them on skewers. I... Uh, it's, like, meant to be, like, tuna... Sliced tuna pieces on skewers. I could not find tuna pieces, nor could I be bothered using the skewers? So instead, I just uh, use some other kind of fish. I can't remember what I use now. But some other fish, which I and I use the uh, the glaze for it, the, the sauce for it, which was the main thing as to how to cook it. Though I imagine if I, I could potentially get some, like, frozen tuna. Uh, fro so I found that you can buy frozen tuna steaks, and I could potentially unthaw them and cut them into slices or into cubes, and then stick them onto kebab sticks, which could also work for it well for... Which is good to know for next time. Because most of the time you can get like canned tuna very easily, but getting fresh tuna over here, not super easy and very expensive otherwise. Canned is much more can yeah. Canned is much more available. Other than that, you kinda have to go frozen if you want tuna. Oh man. Damn. Okay. Do I want to go again with this mini game? Let's have a look at okay, let's have a look at one of these pork these this the recipes for kakuni. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a dip in. Cooking stream. Honestly, I would love to do a cooking stream someday. 
Uh, I earnestly would too, but uh, granted, I will. Oh, what the hell did I do? Why? Why have I jumped over here? Um, I've already said in the Discord before, uh, earlier this week even, that I want to do a singing stream, which I might try and set up for next week if I'm able to. Though I there's some things going on in family at the moment where I might not be able to do that. Fennel, that's another thing you often use in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, this is one of those recipes which uses like a friggin' has like a friggin' whole fucking story and a half about how it's made. Uh Yeah, yeah. Um g ginger is commonly used, uh, spring onions, um the the in the FF14 cookbook, they recommend using uh, like a whole like fennel bulb just cut in half or cut into quarters if it's too big. Um, and you just simmer it in that for ages, and you don't need to eat them by the end of it because by the by the time like it's you simmer it for like two to three hours, like by like the time you're done cooking it, the vegetables will just be kind of like gross and mushy anyway, and any kind of flavor they had will have been imported into the stock, so you just basically fish them out. Uh, I mean, you could have them if you want the fiber from them, but I don't see much point in it. They're they're basically just flavorless, um, flavorless fiber. Which is not the best, but hey, you know, you can have like stews. Oh my god, speaking of the stews, there's another really nice stew, which they recommended, which was from the cookbook. In this, the game they call, and in the cookbook they call it Sky Builder's Stew. I think, I can imagine that the recipe itself is French potentially, because it's, it's a stew, which uses a cream sauce. And oh my goodness me, it is one of the nicest stews I've ever made, and one of the nicest stews I've had the pleasure of eating. It's so good. You can, you know, like, every, in the book it recommends using, like, carrots and potatoes and, I think, daikon radish. Which, again, isn't super common over here, so I just put in parsnips instead. And, you know, it's a stew. You can put in whatever you want in a stew. The idea is that they're meant to be, like, comfort food. For, like, war warming comfort food, which can let you use a bunch of stuff you might not be able to use up. But, yeah, um, it's, you, you, you make a sauce... You, you, cook, you cook a stew like normal, you get like a stock and you like, uh, or water or whatnot, and you put uh, your meat and potatoes in, and veg other vegetables, and then like, um, um, on the side, you make like a cream sauce using cream cheese and milk and stuff, um, and like you put, you mix them together near the end, you also put the broccoli near the, in near the end as well, because like, you could put broccoli in, or if, you, if you're eating broccoli, that is for it, if you're putting broccoli in like a stew, it's best to put it in, um, near the end of the, of the stew, honestly, in like last five minutes or so, just so, for one, it's not like completely dissolved and mushy, by the end of it, and number two, so that it keeps its like nice green color, because as t as it cooks, broccoli loses its color. As with a lot of green uh, vegetables, it's why so many dishes like rec recommend putting like um, uh, it's why so many dishes have like you put coriander or parsley or whatever as like um a con as like a, a garnish on the end. I didn't realize though. Apparently, in American uh, American cooks tend to not put. Those kind of things in their food while cooking them. Like I didn't realize a lot of Americans don't tend to put coriander in food whilst cooking it, which I think is ridiculous. Because coriander is so flavorful, and like you can, if you want, you can put some more on the end anyway. It's like I have to top it all off and everything. And coriander tastes great, or as they would call it, um, what were they? What's the what's the American cilantro? That's what that's what's called in the U.S. Um, but yeah. Apparently not super common to do. By the way, is there like an end game for this, or is it just this? I thought there would be like a boss level or something after a while if I get far enough. Oh. It's probably a simple game, I guess. It's just like a nice little distraction, though, isn't it? Nice music, though, as well. Oh, I wonder how the music from this unlocked the. Oh no, unlocked the soundtrack. I know you're saying, yeah, cooking stream when I would love to do a cooking stream. However, I do not have the setup for that, <laughs> nor do I know how to set that up. <laughs> Earlier on, actually, I was looking at, like, I've mentioned before, I'd love to be able to potentially set up donations and stuff. Um, recently, especially in the VTuber scene, there's been a bunch of, like, stuff going on of, like, people be getting involved, people being scammed because people would uh, give them, like, 
tips and stuff through like PayPal, but then they request all their money back, and PayPal always, almost always sides with the person requesting the refund. Um, so a bunch of people are like thousands of dollars in debt because of this one, because like one or two scammers and stuff. And it's like, wow, PayPal's a really flawed system. And uh, apparently there's a thing called SE Pay, Stream Elements Pay, which you can do, which like is much safer to do. And basically it means that people can't get away with stuff like that. However, you need to use Stream Elements for it. And I'm currently using Stream Labs. But I'm thinking maybe there's a way to set, you can use like both of them on stream. I don't know. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Verticality. We need more verticality in video games. But yeah, that's something. But also, I, yeah, I wanted, to, I would love to do a cooking stream one day if I can get like a setup for it. Um, um, I think I'd have to be something if I was in my own place, though. Honestly, <laughs> alas, whilst I would love to be able to narrate th food, I don't think it's the same thing as uh, th it's the same thing, you know. Unless I was like just went downstairs and I had like, and I was basically just like had my like computer with me downstairs and I was in in the kitchen and I was cooking in there and I would like I don't know I could post like oh post like photos and stuff of like the updates to how the food's looking oh no oh no oh my goodness that's close oh my goodness wait there's not even like a high score to this is there is there a boss to this Oh, just, oh, no. Okay. We'll give this one more go, okay? We'll give this mini game one more go, and then I think we'll call the stream. I don't know. But what was I going to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, What was I saying? I'm not sure anymore. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to set up some singing stream stuff for next week. I'd need to, like... I want to, like set up some stuff for it i guess i'd need to find like all like um karaoke versions or it's weird we say that that's the american pronunciation like, karaoke is more like the japanese pronunciation karaoke and the thing is karaoke isn't even how it's spelt so i don't understand why it's been codified as such which is weird but um yeah i'd probably need to find just the audio versions of a bunch of songs and figure out what i want to sing uh i was thinking of just trying to sing like a bunch of video game music like a bunch of stuff on Guilty Gear and Sayonara Wild Hearts. I'm not super familiar with the uh, Metal Gear Rising soundtrack, but I know there's some like banger songs from that. So maybe have a look in that as well. Like I don't know if I could sing Rules of Nature. It might be like too heavy on my voice. Oh my god, there's no iframes there. Rules of Nature! Like that. Oh fuck. No one more. That was a chick girl. But yeah. That would be fun to do, maybe. I've been wanting to do one for a while now branch out from just doing games and stuff i think i i don't know if i mentioned this to you uh harvey a while ago that um i had a stream like a week or two ago which was just me chatting and it was the first time i had a just chatting stream ow okay i've already fucked this one up i've already uh yeah it was the first time i had a just chatting stream which is weird i've never done that before and it was kind of nice honestly that's a change of pace just talking for an hour about random stuff I guess you need stuff to help. Like, actually, one of the coolest things I've seen, like, um, which for helping your, like, just chatting streams is, like, setting topics for yourself, right? I guess that's good for, uh, for streams in, gen in general. If you're ever worried, oh, man, I could talk, but I don't have anything to say. One of the best pieces of advice I've heard from, uh, for, like, getting started on streaming is, like, you know, obviously, practice talking to yourself, right? Practice talking to yourself in a way that doesn't feel weird. But also, like, um, if you're worried about not having anything to say, write, like, topic cards or something for yourself. You know, like, if you ha if there's, like, some kind of topic you'd like to bring up or if there's some anecdote you remember, that's a good idea. Though, like, you can also, like, have, like, entire streams, I guess, based on a certain kind of, like, uh, conversation topic. Like, a very popular VTuber called Pikami, uh, a while ago, she had, like, a... Because she's, like, English and Japanese. Uh, so she had, like, an English-only stream where uh, she was basically discussing, like, weird habits she did. Uh, and, I was and uh, yeah, was, like, asking the chat and basically playing a game with them, asking them whether it was a weird habit or a not-weird habit. One of them being um, 
yeah, I don't put milk on my cereal because I don't want my cereal to get wet. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of weird. But when I brought that up with my friend about that, she was like, no, I do the same thing. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, it was weird, right? I stayed at that friend's house a couple times now. And, like, she'd have, like, chocolate shreddies, right? And I'm like, oh, man, I love chocolate shreddies. And she, they're, like, her favorite cereal. Like, when I, so we met because we were roommates at university. And they were, like, the only thing. <coughs> oh, my goodness. I'm talking too much. Of that. I'm going to get some water. One second. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, that was refreshing. Okay. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, she was. It was like the only thing she'd have for breakfast. I'm like, is that really all you have for breakfast? I'm like, yeah. Granted, she also had a terrible diet at university. It was honestly, it was honestly incredible that she survived that long. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, when I've stayed at her house before, um. She'd like get some chocolate shreddies, and it's like, hey, mob, I don't, lo I don't want this milk. I'm like, can I have the, can I have the leftover chocolate milk in your bowl? And she's like, yeah, because I, I won't have it. I'll just like pour it down the sink. And I'm like, blasphemous! How dare you, madam? You scoundrel! You fiend! Shine on you, crazy diamond! My favorite Pink Floyd song is Echoes, actually. What a fantastic song. Oh, Brick in the Wall is a good one as well. I was thinking earlier today, my dad has seen lots of musicians over the years. I don't remember if he's seen Pink Floyd. I need to check with him. I believe he saw Queen twice whilst Freddie Mercury was still alive. How cool is that? Imagine seeing that. It's amazing. At least a Queen twice, and I think he's seen ACDC twice. I think he's seen Guns N' Roses. I'm not sure on that one, though. Oh, man, that hit. Oh, damn. He, legit, if you were to ask my dad about all the bands he's seen, like, he, it's honestly insane the amount of big names that he's been able to watch live. I guess it was in, like, a fortunate period of time where, like, being able to buy tickets was not as expensive as it can be today. And, you know, it was also, like, a... where main, mainstream music was was burgeoning with new, with new ideas. Whereas now, like, I think a lot of new ideas are come from more, like, indie music and stuff, I guess. Or whatever you consider indie music. There are indie music which get like hundreds and thousands of people listening to it every single day. So I don't even know if that can count as such. What do I know though? I'm not a musician. I'm a dog. I didn't even choose to be this way. I was born this way. Actually, no, I got cursed by a witch. But that's besides the point. I was born this way. I was born to be cursed by a witch. Not for long though. I'll have my laugh. My... My laugh shall be the last one that witch hears. The old bat. <laughs> there we go. We're doing well here. So it, does this, is this game just like an endless runner then? Where I'll just keep on going with this forever? until, Or is there some kind of end point? And there's no... Oh. There's no, like, goal, it seems. I just remember, wasn't there a bit in the Crash, the new Crash Bandicoot game, Crash 4, which had that meme, and it was like really fucking well done? What a cool thing to do. Plus, because it's to do with Crash Bandicoot itself, it won't age itself out very easily. Is the dog the same character as your new avatar? Oh no, I'm the same person. I just like got cursed. Kind of. I'll explain it to you later. It's a complicated story. Born this way, Lady Gaga. I know. Apparently, Lady Gaga has a very serious illness, which means she can't actually perform on stage a lot. And at least, especially as the condition's gotten worse. Um, I know this because a, uh, a, uh, a family friend, I guess, or a, a friend on one part of my family's side has the same illness, so she can't. Oh no, she can't move much. Um, and like it's it 
takes a lot to get out. She's in pain a lot of the time, but yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm going to be the same person. Um, I may change some aspects of myself a little. Who knows? We'll have a see. But no, I'll be mainly the same. I'll talk, I can talk to you about the specifics of it more later, I guess, with you. But, uh, you know, I want to keep some secrets to the rest of the audience. Like, God, Harvey, you're trying to ruin everything. Oh, my God. I just, okay, you know, Cyanide and Happiness. I just remember one of my favorite Cyanide and Happiness comics. So funny. It's like a... It, this it's like super villain superhero and super villain it's like <gasps> the spoiler you'll never get away with this like you are correct it's like no <laughs> so what, what a good one line joke that's really that's genuinely very good There's another, there's another comic, I, web comic I like called Cheer Up Emo Kid, and it's like a, there's this character, recurring character called Technically Correct Man, and it's like a help. I've been bitten by this guy. Yeah, it's this guy in the middle of the desert, and he's like dying. He's like help. I've been bitten by a poisonous snake, and this superhero comes like actually, if you've been bit, if something is injected poison into you, it's it's a venomous creature. <laughs> It's a venomous creature. Like, oh wow, thanks, technically correct man. No problem, citizen. And the next panel, the guy's just dead and turned into a skeleton in the desert because the poison killed him. Oh, sorry, the venom killed him. Oh, I just remembered. That's another stream I want to do soon. Um. I want to like um um do I think I've mentioned this to you Buster a while back but like I want to do a stream where I go through the um the page bot scripts and read a bunch of the bot generated scripts on there. <laughs> I think I'll okay, I think what I'll do is I'll like I need to like set a timeline for events of what I what what streams I want to do and stuff. But yeah, I can I can show you the exam an example of that. I might have, I think I've done so on stream before once, but it was ages ago. Because I've had this idea for a long, long time. I wanted to get my new model in first, but I don't think it's going to happen at the moment. We're still I'm still waiting for some edits on it. So uh, yeah, um, yeah. One second. One second. Hang on. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, um. Nope, hang on. Oh, wait, hang on, wait, no, that's not it. Wait, hold on, hold on, one second, one moment, we got this. Um, hang on, I do have this somewhere. I know I do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Interior, traditional Batcave. Batman stares next to his Batmobile and uses his Batcomputer. He's sometimes Bruce Wayne, sometimes Batman, all times orphan. <laughs> Batman, this is now a safe city. I have punched a penguin into prison. Alfred, Batman's loyal battler, carries a tray of goth ham. <laughs> Eat a dinner, Mattress Wayne. <laughs> An explosion explodes. The Joker and Two-Face enter the cave. Joker is a clown, but insane. Two-Face is a man, but attorney. <laughs> no, it is Two-Face and One-Face. They hate me for being a bat. Batman throws Alfred at Two-Face. <laughs> Two-Face flips Alfred like a coin. <laughs> Alfred lands heads up, which means Two-Face goes home. <laughs> Batman continue. It is just you and I, the Joker. Bat versus Clown. Moral enemies. The Joker. 
I am such a freak. Society is bad. You drink water. I drink anarchy. I drink bats. Just like a bat would. <laughs> Batman looks around for his parents, but they are still dead. <laughs> Look at that line. This makes him have anger. <laughs> he fires a bat rocket. The Joker deflects it with his sick sense of humor. A clownly power. <laughs> the Joker. I have never followed a rule. That is my rule. Do you follow? I don't. <laughs> Batman. Alfred, give birth to Robin. Alfred begins the process since it is his job. The Joker now has a present in his hand. He juggles it over to Batman. Happy Bat Day, Birthman. <laughs> Batman opens the present since he's a good guy. It contains a coupon for new parents, but it's expired. This is a Joker joke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's a coupon for new parents, but it's expired. Oh my god, my favorite line in that this Batman looks around this for his parents, but they're still dead. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh my, oh my lord, oh goodness gracious me. Oh. <laughs> oh my. As long as you can't write that shit, and you can't. That's a robot. That's just a robot. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. What were we doing? We were playing a, a, a video game about getting drunk. Um. Right, I don't think I should buy anything more just because I don't really have much money on me. Let's read everything and then call it an eye, okay? The Augmented Eye. Pollution to reach historic levels next year by Kimber Lavalette. Even though most countries in the world have, ad have adapted their economics to solve the ongoing problem of climate change, Glitch City still relies on ancient technology in order to keep costs low with profits high. As a result of this, of this backwards policy, it seems as though we'll be experiencing a huge increase in air pollution next year. Our contamination levels will force the whole population to move away from a lot of, a lot of areas in the city. The soil is dying at an alarming pace, as experts in, report, in a report. Having to buy special raincoats and umbrellas does suck, but experts say you better get used to it. I long until someone says pollution is good. There's a book. There's a, there's a book. <clears throat> Augment Eye is being attacked by Augment Eye South. Hi everyone, we take your security seriously here at the Augment Eye and we have the, the obligation to disclose the recent articles on Alice Rabbit were vandalized by who we think is Alice Rabbit themselves, or a very good impersonator. We want to extend our apologies and one that will be limiting our courage at Alice Rabbit to just factual news and no one, not entertainment pieces, necessarily the AE staff. Thank god I don't pay these fuckers for a sub. <laughs> Alarms rise as the Apollo Trust Bank suffers a terrorist attack updating by Kimberly Lavalette. The, pl the plane is crying, pl crying out in pain. The planet is crying out in pain. I love it when, like, like um, Barrett says that in Final Fantasy VII, and Cloud's just like, whatever, fuck, whatever, man, fucking get help. <laughs> you, you can hear the planet crying, like, yeah, you know I can, like. You need help. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Clouds are just very funny and dry, actually, which is something they kept over from, like, the original game, which seems to have been lost over the years. I'm really glad. I've mentioned before, but, like, I'm, I think that regardless of whether you like FF7 Remake or not, I think the crowning achievement of that game is, like, actually portraying the characters in a, in, like, um, a way in which, what's the, the word I'm looking for? I just lost the word. It's on the tip of my tongue an accurate way um in uh yeah i guess it's an accurate way uh 
in a true way, perhaps. You know, the, the, all the characters are true to who they were in the original game, which has not been the case for basically anything after it, whether they appeared as cameos or in like any of the various FF7 spin-offs. <clears throat> Alarmist rise as the Apollo trust banks of his terrorist attack over there. Hijacked screens down at downtown Casanova announced what seems to be a terrorist threat into the Apollo trust bank. The information suggests that a currently unidentified bomber is already inside the building. The White Knights counterterrorism unit responded to the threat immediately, however, however, the bank was then locked by an external <laughs> network attack. We're well, dealing with a dual threat here. CTU's Chloe Bauer told AE. The bank has been sealed shut using its own dis own disaster prevention system, however, none of the terminals of the bank were working at the time. The building is basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. Oh, I'm saying it's alright, yeah. Any update from Kira Miki? No. It's going to danger you. Dangerous opinions. True to form, I guess, is what I was maybe trying to say. There was a word I was important. <clears throat> No one's reporting on it. Are you actually surprised? Considering the nature of the threats, it's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. What a fucking coward. Are there any sources there? I'm posting from the site. I'm posting from the site. It looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Wow. They're actually so they're actually helping the protesters. Um, that's not the way to help the people. What if this is just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I wouldn't be surprised. This fucking place, lol. Let's go for more info. I mean, the gods are going to save the safety. Anyone else see last night's escapade? She was at the Valhalla bar. It was alright. Bartender was a QE, but man, is she full of herself. <laughs> Don't care. I'm going next week to ask her out for a date. We all know you won't. Pretty sure nobody here is the good to ask someone out. Is she still sleeping? Yeah, the bartender's been telling everyone they, they need to be careful with their words, though. What if there's, a, like, illegal activity going on there? Like, why would you need to be careful what you say? Maybe they're avoiding casual racism. <laughs> True, still, it wouldn't be rare for them to do shady stuff. This fucking city. <laughs> At least she's sleeping now. Last time I saw her taking some rest was about a week ago. Crash is one hell of a drug. Man, it's not shady when they put it that way. Why not just beat me up? I'm fucking crying right now. Let me tell you the story. Waiting for OP to deliver. I'm here. Anyway, here it goes. I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to buy milk. When I'm finally out there, a group of three white knights stopped me and started asking for my ID. I also wanted to see my bag to check if I wasn't a scalper. And once they saw everything was over, they asked me for a military service ID. And I said, just, what the fuck? Why do I have that on me? And there's no enforced conscription anymore. It doesn't make sense. And because I didn't have it on me, they asked for money or else they'd plant drugs on me. I of course refused that they'd lose their patience leave and one of them hit me right in my temple with a gun. I was going like crazy on the floors so they just took my groceries and left. Holy sh oh. Apparently my PC is running low on battery, I didn't know it was unplugged. Uh bum 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 Oh what was it? Lose the patience and uh, I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, just took my groceries and left. Holy shit man, I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much I wanna leave this fucking hell home. I'm so tired of this shit every fucking day. Look, it's never had that kind of problem with the White Knights, I guess. Yeah, it's a shit place. Anyway, let's go for a life backup. And that's going to be it for the stream today. Yeah. This one's been longer than I thought. I didn't think I'd be gone on this long. I think it's because of that little minigame. It, it, it enraptured me. Caught me a spell of sorts. Anyway, that's going to be everything today. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I don't know when I'll be back. I'm still trying to figure out my new schedule. I will try and get something sorted out for it, though. It'll probably be Tuesdays and Thursdays still, just because I like doing Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and uh, weekends as well. But yeah, until then, I'll try and figure stuff out. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you all have a really good night, or a good afternoon, or a good morning, depending on where you are in the world. Yeah. Anyway, hope you all have a good one. And see you in a bit. Bye. Sweet dreams to you, my friend. Sweet dreams to you. Ciao.